Do you guys think he should be at OTAs? 100% he should be at OTAs. Um, and, I, and the reason I'm saying it's because I'm looking at some of the other great players uh, of our generation. Um, I wonder if LeBron James missed some off-season practices or, or OTAs. Uh, I wonder if um, Tom Brady misses you know, some off-season practices, OTAs. Kobe, MJ, Tiger Woods. I, uh, we talked about Tiger Woods. I played in the golf tournament. Um, quick little story. We played a round of golf. Before we started a round of golf, Tiger Woods was on the range practicing. After we finished the round of golf, which was four and a half plus hours, Tiger Woods was still in that same spot hitting those golf balls. So this is the time right now to get better. It's not mini camp, training camp. It starts with the little things, building that chemistry, which I know they have, but it can improve. It can be better because you look at um, what happened to them when they played against the, mm -hmm. when they played against the uh, Patriots, like you said. And, and I, I believe you learn more from your failures mm -hmm. than you do the positives. And I think sometimes that's the issue with some of the young guys that they focus, especially when they have early success, they focus more on the positives because they get paralyzed with doing the great things and, and not so much looking at the failures and how they can get better and how they can improve. Um, and and you know, that's kind of my So thing. Tom Brady's actually not at off season, but he's, you know, 40, turning 41. He's been he, there. He's earned it. This was the he's only year right. that he hasn't been there. Jalen's yeah. still kind of a young pup. Mm -hmm. Is yes. he a bona fide star in the league that can't, he shouldn't be at OTAs? I agree with you, but I think I'm different when it comes to offense and defense. I know that sounds like it's like apples and oranges here, but I saw Aaron Donald miss OTAs last year and be the defensive player of the year. I yeah. saw Von Miller two years ago hold out and still have an amazing season. I feel like if you're a quarterback or if you're a running back and you're watching, you need to learn the offense and the intricacies mm -hmm. of a playbook. I want you there in that room. Defense, Jalen Ramsey, he's been doing this his whole life. I feel like go out there, cover the receiver, maybe learn a couple schemes from a defense that is a carryover from last year. It's all right. But big picture, every young guy should be there. Mm -hmm. Every young guy should be there. Obviously, he'd rather be there, but I'm not as concerned as I would be if it was a young quarterback or a young running back or wide receiver. Yeah. I mean, look, of course, he should be there in a, in a vacuum, but I figured this out last week. Kay and I talked about it. I figured out what OTAs are in the real life to an average, ordinary person. It's the uh, another organized team activity, the uh, the drinks and appetizers with your company. Yeah. Like, you're, you're, you can't yeah. be required to be there, but it's strongly encouraged yeah. and attendance will be taken. A little bonding exercise, you know but, what I'm saying? But who goes to those things. A, a new employee okay. who's there, uh, an employee who's trying to get a promotion, yes. or an employee with no life. Jalen right. Ramsey is none of those, so yeah. we'll see you in minicamp. Well, what's the ultimate goal? Is it to just be great on the field, or is it to take ownership in this team and help your team win a Super Bowl? Because if that's the ultimate goal to win a Super Bowl, then you need those extra little things like OTAs right now, all the things that you, know, you should be doing to help get your team over that hump. Because it, it's, it's a game of inches, and right? I'll give, and I'll give credit where credit's due. The fact Odell Beckham's there, mm. I'm yeah. surprised. And yeah. I got to say, too. tip my cap to him. I like that. I like yeah. that Odell say, final year of a contract. I don't care. I'm going anyway. I'm going to show yeah. it. Do you think it's like a new trend now where the younger players are going to stop doing it because they're seeing their own people? They have the TB12s in places to go? Maybe. It could be. I, I, I think the great myth of OTAs is that in week nine when it's third and nine and Jalen's back in coverage in a back pedal, he's going to blow coverage because he wasn't at OTAs. I think there's zero translation. And I get what you're saying, Reggie, the intangible yeah. stuff. But for a young corner who already has made his, his bones in the league, I don't think so. But if we had OTAs here on Good Morning Football, I would, let's say the whole NFL network had it. Yeah. I'd be on the group text saying, Peter, Kyle, Nader, you guys going? Let's yes. all go together or let's all not go. It would be important for, I would feel some sort of way if three of us went and Peter was like, I'm good. I'm too yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to GovBall instead. Yeah. I'm serious. No, fair. So do players feel, get in their feelings about that at all? I don't think players do because, uh, again, uh, we all understand that it's a long season and there's a lot that goes into it. But. Um, I, I think you just listen if everybody else is there you should be there. And if you're the, the, the face of the franchise um, you should take ownership in that be the guy be the guy that leads the guy leads the teams the, the young guys all, all this stuff. So.